Hello everyone, this is Evelyn coming to here to show you guys this beautiful birdhouse ornament that I'm going to show you how I made it. Before I start, I just wanted to mention the material, the measurement. I'm not going to do the embellishment. I will show you after I put the house together. Um, and this is out of cardboard. And also, I know I mentioned that I would have done the, um, the snowman. Um, I'll promise you I'll show that in the next video. I just wanted to show you this because I'm trying to catch up with my, all my ornaments. Every year in the month of November, I get created putting um, home, you know, handmade ornaments on my Christmas tree because that's my goal. Is to remove everything that I purchased and just put what I made. So, um, this November I'm going to be quite busy, even though I'll drop in with some skin cares and stuff like that, but for the month of November I'm going to be doing a lot of DIYs ornaments, okay? So bear with me. Now, um, cardboard, that's all you need is cardboard. And you know the ridges, these type of ridges? This is the part that you need. So what I did is I took, you know, everybody can have a box of cardboard, box, whatever. And all you have to do is damp it a little bit and just peel it. It comes right off so fast when you damp it a little bit and just peel it. Whatever's left just, you know, comes off quickly. So I just wanted to show you that part. Um, before I start painting, I'm going to give you the measurement. You need one paper roll trimmed down to three and a half. This piece right here, let me put the birdhouse so you can know what I'm talking about. This piece goes around the, um, the, pa the paper toilet roll. Okay, that's going to go around this. And that measure three and a half by six and a half. Okay? And the rooftop that goes on top of this right here, the rooftop, that measure three by four and a quarter. You're going to need a punch, and the punch that I use is one and three eighth, a circle punch. That's for here because there was no way that I can make a hole that would fit in, you know, inside the paper roll. So I'm making my own illusion. Okay. Uh, the ground piece, this part right here, this measure two and a half by three. All right. So right now what I'm going to show you guys is um, how I got the color. Um, I, I use gesso. So it can be like a, a dry, matty, chalky kind of texture because I want my house to look very vintage, old. So even with the little texture that you see here, I like that because that's it, it looks very old. It makes the house look very old. So I'm going to dip here. And when you do the cut, just so you, you know, just FYI, you see these lines? You want to make sure when you cut them, make sure you get the lines coming down. Because when you wrap the tube, you want the ridges to be down, all the lines, instead of sideways. Because some of them I made a mistake on, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm just going to give it like a wash. Just brush it, ran, so that's it. So actually just give it some texture. Okay, and then I'm going to do that to the other two pieces. I'm not doing it perfect because I just want to get some, uh, you want that um, cardboard to peek out a little bit. You can also use acrylic paint if you don't want to use the um, the gesso. Okay, okay. So I paint the whole piece. Put this in water. All right. Before I take my wrap and wrap this around the house, I'm going to do a V cut because I need something to hold up the roof when I put the roof cut. So what I do is, since this measure three and a half, is that what I mentioned? Let me see. I'm sorry, two and a half. So uh, you got to get, you got to put like a little mark to the center. I have a pencil right here. 
I'll take my ruler, find the center, which will be one and a quarter. Okay, so that would this point right here. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to give it like a slant, so like a red triangle, so I'm going to go down like a V cut. So I'm going to eyeball this. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to slant it a little bit and cut that piece off. And then I'm going to do the other side. The pointier the, I'll show you, the center is, the better the roof of your house is going to pop real nice. So this is what you want. Okay? You can always save these pieces and use that as your template, but if you want to make more, it helps a lot. Okay, I'm going to wrap this around. I'm not going to make the V-cut here because I'll show you what's easier for me. So I'm going to use my 6E1000. And I'm, I don't have the um, tooth that goes to there, so I'm going to just squeeze and just swipe it around. Make sure that you get it on the edge because you want to make sure that what you wrapping around is going to hold real good. Okay, okay now I'm going to take my piece. I could stop anywhere, it doesn't make a difference, but I wouldn't stop from the point, stop from the bottom, because remember, you tr you, you kind of you gotta get it some room so when you do your cut, you see why. So I start from the bottle, and make sure you get it nice and snuggle. And I yes, I am going over it, so I'm overlapping. That's okay because you're not gonna see the difference because of the lines. So when I get to this part here, I use my glue gun. Okay, so now it looks like this. Now, remember the um, the paper roll where I made that those angle cuts. I'm gonna go with my scissors, and already I got the cut in size as my tamper. So I'm gonna go in there. And the the toilet paper that already had the cut inside is my guy line, which makes it so much easy for the gets a little tight over here so let me go back in there and just okay okay that's one and then I'm going to do the other side let me make sure this gets nice and snug because you see the glue is not that completely dry but uh, when you have time in your hands, you can always wait for 15 minutes or maybe less than that and then stop cutting. But since I'm videotaping, I'm going to do this as quick as possible. Let me start right here. You don't have to be so perfect, trust me. The rooftop will make a big difference. It will hide a little bit of your mistake if you do one. Okay, now, now, and, and save these little pieces. You never know what you could do with these little pieces. I, I try to do something with the rooftop for my next one because I'm making 20 of these things. So this is what you're going to look at. This is what you're going to get. All right, now I'm going to do the um, rooftop. So what I do is, and I'll put the measurement because I know I just mentioned what I have, but as I'm going, I'll put the measurement again next to me. I'm going to fold this in half, just in half. Then I'm going to glue this. You see how nice it falls? Okay, remember the V-cut? Now you see that point? The point is going to face you. And then you're going to stick it right in the middle and it's going to fall in so nice. That's why I say that the point that this part is, it holds, it gives you like a nice fit right into the, um, to the house. So I'm going to glue my glue stick right here. So simple. So pretty, I'm telling you, it's just easy, simple, and what makes, and this is feel like paper, that's a good thing, because cardboard, it's a little sturdy, so it gives you that, um, that thick look, so you don't have to worry about it's going to bend or rip or anything like that. 
So I'm going to put this on my, and make sure you're going to put it right in the middle before you stick that in. Okay. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Okay. Now, um, I can stop putting the ground, which is with my house. Okay, I'm going to use this piece right now that's going to be underneath. So I'm going to glue the bottom of the house. And I'm going to do the long way. And then just make sure you check which side you want it. So to me, it doesn't make a difference. But I'm going to go a little bit more out, and I'll show you just in case if you want to use any type of embellishment on the front of the house, which is the birdhouse. Um, so what I did is I went and I gave it like probably a little, uh, probably like a half an inch in the back, making more room towards the front. Because you never know, you want to probably add some snow, maybe you want to put your bird, you know what I'm saying? And talking about a bird, I'll... So I forgot to mention my little burr. I have a bunch on this. I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm going to wrap my, I'm sorry, wrap. I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to put it in front of the house. It can look like this. I'm going to probably use, you know what, let me use my glue stick and see how that works. Because I just need the corners. I'm just going to go, I'm not a corners, I'm just going to go around the edges of the circle. I don't know, for some reason, guys, the Gorilla Glue Stick, please, if you have any problems with these glue sticks, I notice they don't stick like they're supposed to because they from, you know, they Gorilla Glue Stick. You figure they'll have a, a better hole for some reason. I don't know if I got a bag, a bad batch that my glue stick is not holding. I have to constantly put more and put more. So I don't know what's going on. All right, so now this looks like this, okay? Like I mentioned, I am not going to embellish, but I'll tell you what I did here. And I'm also going to show you how I made this icicle. You know what? Before I give you the detail of my um, embellishment, let me show you a little tip with the icicle, just in case I'll forget to show you that. What I did, and it's going to look like this, guys. I'm going to show you. Look how pretty. So simple. So how I got that is I took my, make sure that the nasso you have over here, the little point, it's very thin. It depends how big, how wide you want your icicle. So what I did first is, and I want to make sure, you know what, let me get a little closer. Okay. I want to make sure you don't miss this. Matter of fact, I can do, I can do it like this. So I'm going to, hmm, is that, you know what, it's not sticky, I have to push it in, let me see, okay, I'll show you what that looks like, I know I'm covering, I'm going to make a straight line, that's all I'm doing, it's making a straight line, and try not to stay too long with it because it does dry up. Now, from the line, I'm going to touch it, and I'm going to go down, but making waves. So I'm, making a, I'm going back and forth, back and forth to make that little, because it can't be perfect, uh, straight, perfect line. You want it to be wavy-like. And how I do, so you're going to make long ones and short ones. So it can really look like icicle. And try not to be too close, but not too far. You don't have to worry about those loose strings because you will clean that out. Just make sure when you're going up, down, make sure you're touching that line because that's what's going to stick the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to do it over again because my glue looks like it's drying out. 
And then what I do is I take my glitter. And I just go over it. And then ah, it's still, I'm feeling it, it's still warm. So I'm just pressing it down slowly, not forcing it because it's still soft. But I just want to make sure that the glitter is sticking on the, the icicle. Okay, so I'm going to dip this right back into my, um, I had a little brush. Where's my little brush? Oh, here you go. So I'm going to dust that out because you don't want to waste any of your glitter. I like the Stampin' Up, um, like what is it called, da Diamond Dazzle, something. I used to be a demonstrator eight years ago. Is it eight years ago or six years ago? That was eight years as a demonstrator. A lot of fun. It was, it was really nice. I used to do classes and stuff like that, so I do know a lot of technique. All right, so now I'm going to kill this off. I used to use, I thought I used wax paper, but it wasn't wax paper, I used the mat. And guys, this is what it looks like. Now these pieces, you're going to wrap, this is going to go around the edge of the root. So it can look like this. See? You can put some right here, which I'll be doing. So I'm going to put my icicle around here. Um, yeah, here, here, I'm not going to do the back, and then, like I did to this house, and I can tell you a little bit about the embellishment, um, I used flowers here, and they from the Dollar Tree, little flowers, I didn't make them, usually I make my own flowers, but like I said, I have to catch up making more, because I had used practically all my flowers, my handmade flowers, um, doing scrap up, then this is a glass bee, just to make it look like crystal-like, I don't know. Um, I, I wrap this around a piece of ribbon, um, what is it called, gemstone ribbon, that I got at Dollar General, it's for one yard, a dollar twenty-nine is what I pay for it, not that. And I wrap that around. This here is a little um, cotton balls, they were already small, you get that at AC more, which is 50% off, that's what they call pom-pom, something like that. But I use this to make it like snow, and um, I got a piece of little ribbon to hang it up. And I don't, all my ornaments, I don't want to make it so much details. I just like it simple. I don't like to overwhelm my ornaments. I want to be able to enjoy also the beauty of the house, not the embellishment. The embellishment is just to give it a pop-up. So this is it. This is one of them. I'll be making 20 of those. I just want to share with you guys some of the ornaments that I made about two years ago. And I want to show you. And if you're interested in me doing these, let me know. I got a whole full box. Let me put this here so I can show you some of the work that I have been doing. And this is every year I, I, I start working on ornaments. I do own an, it's an AccuCut die uh, machine, and these are the dies that I did, but this is all my family. This is also goes on my tree. It's a big ornament. It's like nine inches. I'm not kidding you. It's a very, very, very big. If you're interested in me seeing uh, embellishers, I'd be happy to show how I did this. So these are the ones. I, I can't tell you how many I have in here. But it's, it's practically all my families. And the boys, they get the blue. Um, this is from Tin Hall Flowers. And the girls get the pink ones. So this is, these are one of my ornaments that I did. This was two years ago. And then I did these. Like I said, every year. I don't remember which ones I did. And, you know, but... I think I'm going to change the color. So I also did these because I want everything to be white. These are the stockings. Um, I think this is from Stampin' Up. If I can remember it, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know in the bottom. And all the stuff that I show, I'll do my best and put that down in the bottom. But I think this is from Stampin' Up, this die cut. I'm not sure if they still sell them. But these are my also um, ornaments that I put in my Christmas tree. 
And I know I had some more downstairs. I just couldn't get into the uh, back of the bins, but I made some um, queen stutters also as ornaments, these flowers right here, and I show you that too. Okay, guys. I, oh, I wanted to show you my bird. Hold on. I can't leave you out my bird. This bird would be added. Let me just take this right here. Look how cute that bird is. And this bird is came from Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm not a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator anymore. So, but if you're interested in this stamp, all you have to do is go on the website, type in stampinup.com, type in your area code, and they'll give you the nearest person that is a demonstrator if you're interested in getting theirs. But it's so much making these um, little flowers. They come like this. And they come with a little branch. And the, what I did on here... To make it more sterile, I add um, five, I glue five pieces of birds. So it could be a little, like I said, a little stiff. And also with the wings. But it comes with the, the wing, the branch, and the bird. That's not bad. It's, it's really good. So that I'll be adding into my, um, on my ornaments. Um, like I said, once in December when I put my Christmas tree, I'm going to be so happy to share with you guys all the stuff that I made on that tree. You're going to be amazed because I still haven't finished my um, pine cones, the one that I showed you guys. And now I'm going to finish this one here and then I'm going, my next one is probably the queen studs. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to do that then. I'm going to show you guys the snowman because I know I mentioned that before. So, um, I guess that's it. I'm going to patch up right here now. Uh, I want to say thank you for stopping by. If you happen to be new and, 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 and to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that black bell. That's going to let you know that I'm around. Evelyn's having a video out there if you don't want to miss. Um, I hope you give me a thumbs up. I'm trying my best. So I hope you really enjoy this video and I'm hoping to come back real soon. So thank you and have a great night. Thank you.